Go see it. Yeah, check it out. But uh, they they hit me up, whatever, I think it's Zany's. They do a roast there mm. a couple of days before. And I don't know if I'll be in town or not, but I was, but they asked me to do it. And, and I was like, oh, I forgot about those. I think I like doing those. Did you get writers or do you do, do you write them yourself? Well, I've never done it televised. I've only done it yeah, like but do you, clubs. even locally, do you do it? No, I've only, I, I don't even know who's going to be there until I get there. I'm, oh, I, I haven't been the road, like I was a judge. I did the judging of the road. Yeah, thing. I've judged them. That's all I meant. It's the same thing. No, it's not. It's not the same performance, but I'm saying that same energy of just like. Yeah, I, I've done that. What I'm saying is, is that yeah, roasting same. is different where you have to write. Yes, correct. We know who you're competing I've never done that. Well, then what? What, what about what just happened? I understand there's some confusion, but what actually made you mad? Why are you mad right now? Well, it's yeah, I used to be a cook. Yeah, and then, you know, and then you go, oh. And then you're like, yeah, I've done it at home. I just. There's yeah. a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Yeah. Are you okay? I have to start over, I think. <laughs> you know what? I need to find you a couple of chromosomes. When you say that joke, that's the second one. Mm -hmm. um, are you saying that I look like I have Down syndrome? No. What are you saying then? I want to know. The, I want to get behind the joke, and I want to be able to like laugh. When you say that, Don't, what, do what you, you mean to get in front of the joke and laugh? Whatever. Because you're already behind the joke. You're behind it and under it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Anyway, what is that joke? Why did you laugh the first time I said it? Because I thought it was a little slight slam. What's going on? I, I, Okay, I, I, hold on. Yep. Yeah. We could you could start it over if you want. What would you do though? Would you do anything different if we started over? Because <laughs> I know you like to start over. I also am into it, but I just don't think anything would be different. Like, remember the first time you did Tiger Belly? I mean Tiger Belly, where you were like you had like a plan in mind. No. Okay. First time I did Tiger Belly, you bought uh, gifts. Yeah. I felt like you had a plan in mind. Like I'm going to do it this way. Oh, was it? No, it was Jeremiah. Jeremiah Watkins, it wasn't you. I, I get you guys mixed up. Yeah. I get you and John Mayer mixed up sometimes. That's a great thing. Yeah. All right. For who? For both of us. Do you think it's a good thing for him? Do you think he likes that people sometimes think he's Bobby Lee? Well, he sent me a text during my birthday, so I just think he likes me. Did you respond? I did. If you gave me a birthday text. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that what it looks like when you're getting blown? It hurts when I get blown. Oh my God. Okay. You know what I've been doing lately? Try this. Try this at home, everybody. When you orgasm with a partner, don't make any noise and just look them right in the eyes. It's so good. Mm. I do this. And they kind of go, what's going on? Are they people looking at you when they're fucking you? I'm being serious. Like, do they like to look at you? <laughs> dude, 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 that's the meanest thing I've ever heard. Oh my God, that was so good. What do you think? That's so fucking mean. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so mean that I'm like, touche, dude. Like, my hat's off. Very good. Fuck you. If you took your hat off, maybe it would not be touche, but All right, listen, toupee. listen. They have looked at me. Uh, you know, they I, have. this has happened. This okay. has happened. Where well, they look at me and they kind of laugh a little. Right. Well, That's because fine. you're coming like this. No, even before. <laughs> even before. Like, they'll be like kind of doing a move, right? And they'll look at me and they go. <laughs> right. Do they laugh at you? No. Do they turn away every once in a while? When I'm coming or when they're coming? Not just before, not the coming part. I mean, yeah. People, we look away. You turn around. You, I mean. Yeah, you're not always looking somebody in the but face. Is there like a, a a nod that you do? Like, oh, very good, my lady. Usually, usually, like if I'm having sex with somebody from the back, and well, if I'm well, if I'm liking it, and they look back like this, I'll typically go like this. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> that is so fucking weird. No, last night I was nervous. Where? Last night I was nervous. So Nick Thune um, asked me to do his buddy's his buddy owns, and his I think his wife maybe his wife owns a new non-alcoholic bar in Chinatown. Like a lemonade stand. Yeah, but it's a bar. It's not a lemonade stand. What are you talking about? It's, it's non-alcoholic beer or they have sodas and stuff? They probably have like, you know, um, mocktails, mm. for instance. But anyway, it's, so it's kind of like a, it, it seemed like a hipster alt room. 
right? Like, I feel like you thrive in the, those type of environments. Why do people think I'm alt? Not that I am or I'm not. What is that? What does that mean? Why? Because I do. Well, look, can I, I'll different. get back to that after I'm done with this. Okay, so just put a pin in it. Okay, so Nick, um, you know I'm sober, but we, I mean, we're, I mean, I can't. I'm sober. It was a kind of a sober show, but the lineup was insane. It was like, but it was also not a club lineup. Who? Well, for me, the people like Joe Mandy, love him. Nick, uh, Rory Scovel. Just Natasha. did a show with him the other day, and not that I didn't that's know, selling. but I was reminded, man, Rory Scovel is just unbelievable. Dude, he funny. honestly with him. He is, he's got everything. Mm -hmm. He's kind. Mm -hmm. He's a great actor. Mm -hmm. And what a stand up. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I've always thought so. He did mine at the beginning of the pandemic. Todd Berry was on it too. Like Todd Berry very much. And I look, I, so we were in this tiny green room and I, I get nervous on Todd Berry. There's a couple of guys, him. Is it because he's been doing it longer than you? There's a couple, I've always been a fan. So I, there was him and, and there's another guy named Dana Gould. Of course. So every time I see Todd or D Dana, I always like go, hey, I don't really know. Does it make you feel like a kid? Like you're- Yeah, the, I, I tell like him, a I'm a friend. huge fan and I don't know why I'm nervous right now, but I'm super nervous in front of you. Mm. I, I'm honest about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, and I was sitting there and I go, I, I was sitting next to Beth Stelling and she go, I go, um, I'm super nervous. He goes, she goes, I get it. She goes, so she goes, when I'm nervous I, about because you're in front of these comedians or the audience or that they're yeah, going to watch Yeah, because it you. had a, like a hipster, like it was, there's no stage. So actually it's just the ground floor show. Right. You know, it's funny that you say that what? because Rory was on a, wrote on a show called Ground Floor. The Bill Lawrence show. Hey, Bill. Bill doesn't like me. Anyway, um. What were your nerves for? Were your nerves for the audience or for the comedians you look up to watching? It, to because I, I'm usually doing in front of, I'm, I'm doing shows with club comics. Uh huh. Club, com there's a difference if everyone wants to know the difference. Go ahead. Well, the club comics are like, kind of like, they're more um, working class, I guess. And then the alt comics are? They're, um, I think the bits are more thought out and, how does working class and thought out? Not how, thought out. Not thought out. That's the wrong. It's the wrong word. How ironic! Are you watching your words? Do you know the difference? Like you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I know. I do. I'm just, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just. You just. Your energy kind of threw me off. All right. Well, watch your words. Well, alternative comedy is is that it's. I mean, it's they they talk more about like like pre rehearsed bits and stuff don't work as well. You know what I mean? A so lot you're of, saying that that alternative is more improv based. More improv, but it's also talking about things that are more like um, hipstery, like hats, Kierkegaard's pants, or whatever. I don't know. He's a philosopher. Nice. Yeah, but anyway, um, so I, I sit to bed. I go. I still want to know the difference. Yeah, club com comics are more like you know, they they do comedy for common people. Right. So if you go to the Midwest, right? Right. So club and, and you and you go to like Lubbock and you're at some random comedy As opposed club. to comedy fans who already are educated in comedy, have a very have a, a comedy palette. So it, it's not their first it's not their first or second time seeing comedy. Yeah. Like well, like for instance, I was in Vegas once. This is 20 years ago, and I was at the Riviera when they had that comedy. I don't know if the comedy club's still there. And Andy Kindler was there. And Andy Kindler's a very like to me a alt guy. Yeah. And he's he was, so funny. He's so funny. And, and, and so the whole room was, and no one knew he, who he was when he was playing. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, if you go to the Riviera, it's like, well, you know, along with the package, you get this free tickets to the comedy club. Like these just old Midwestern, they don't know anything about anything. I mean, the, they love Sinbad, which I love him. Sure, yeah. So there, there's these, all these old people in this room and Kindler goes, watch my opening joke. Because he goes, it's going to eat it. Right, so he goes up there. It's like, you know, don't you hate it when you get a residual check and it's nine cents, <laughs> right? And the whole audience, <laughs> right? The whole audience is like cut dead silent. He did that for you, yeah. But I was laughing, so yeah. you know that's what they do, right? You know what I mean? They don't really do it for the common people. Whereas for me, it's like, well, I got, you know what I mean? I got to meat and potatoes, switches, and I want to kill yeah, this random audience. Just swipe to a montage of you showing everybody your balls for ten minutes. 
the real meat and potatoes. <laughs> the real, the real working man stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not a good comic. <laughs> I'm bad. So. The first time you said something honest to me, man, how come you can't be like that more in the pod? I'm not a good comic. Well, I'm not saying you are or you're not, but you feel like you're not. I think I am. Like, oh, yeah? You made me feel like I want, I'm not. Then I, I, Eleanor Roosevelt says, nobody can make you feel inferior without your own consent. Mm. Okay. Go, go, go.